each kitchen table a stage, each dinner party a site for sustenance, new bonds and new relations, redistribute the traffic, the postal art event expanded, Angela Amesbury, Lynn Austin, Penny Booth, Kate Walker, Sally Gallop, Sue Richardson, Monica Ross, Susie Varty, Phil Goodall, Lynn Folks, Trisha Davis. Women artists in the home, on the street, in the women's center, at the political meeting, at the avant-garde gallery, in Trafalgar Square, in the cinema, in the squat, in the artist-run art space, at the community center, in the library, in the West End, in the conference hall. Women artists at the Royal Academy. No, no, that never happened. Women artists outside the Whitney, LACMA, Women artists outside the Hayward Gallery, inside the Hayward Gallery. Women artists throw stink bombs into the ICA. Women artists exhibit at the ICA. Women artists in the classroom, women artists in the conference hall. Go to the Women's Art Library, ask for Althea. Protest at the symposium, interrupt the conference, make art, make art history. Join the history group. Sally Alexander, Rosalind Delmar, Mary Kelly, Juliet Mitchell, Laura Mulvey, Griselda Pollock, rearticulate your position. Do it in the road. Aren't there any housewives? Yes, a history of artists. Lingering in the basements, in the corridors, in the files, in the cabinets, in the books, in the encyclopedia. Hidden names or not named. Find some skins to inhabit. In 1973, the Women's Art History Collective formed. Denise Kale, Pat Kahn, and Magic, Tina Keen. Rajika Parker, Griselda Pollock, Aileen Strasberg, Lisa Tickner, and Anna Winter. Looking for precedents, group members research not the history of art, but histories of artists or creative women. It had to expand the boundaries, look beyond what was understood. Artists looking for artists, research undertaken together, speaking names, digging in, feminism at the art symposium. A poetic history at the Whitechapel, Monica Ross says, and we discussed authorship and originality, the ownership or not of art. Collective structures and, or individual. The process, new work constantly emerges as the visual conversation develops. Individual yes. art practice. We tried to work out of and into this gap. We said, we'll do it together. We'll make art out of our lives from its content and form, literally from its material, the broken and discarded bits, and so the conversation develops. A visual conversation, according to Monica Ross, a vocabulary of everyday experience, a specific material life related in black magic chocolate boxes, seed trays, and crochet, a Marmite jar baby, a drawer cupboard made to look like a window, cloth sandwiches with baby face, a bed for cultivated growth. Chocolates replaced with a gnashing mouth. Cloth sandwiches with baby face, teeming breasts and other assorted contorted body parts. A crochet cactus prickling with metal needles, another garnished with crochet flowers. A cardboard box made into a bathtub with figure drowning in plastic polythene bubbles or a sanctuary with head above water. An intricate lexicon on housewifery evidencing histories of consumption and consumer waste, of scientific development, of star products, lingering traditions and recycling, make do and mend, girly art, homemade, I'm afraid. Imagine these objects on white walls. Exhibition one would take place in Manchester. Exhibition two, the walls are fuller. Work accumulates as the exhibitions go on. The final show at the Institute of Contemporary Art in London, Feministo, a portrait of the artist as a young woman or as a housewife, depending on who you talk to. A portrait without a face, but a point of recognition. A space of appearance in which language determines a process of coming new ways of art. to know. When speech becomes disruptive, it reveals the forms of oppression that oscillate between the social and the psychic, structuring and systemic. Be warned. Remember the Freud, the Lacan, the Marx and the Althusser. Do these new relations form an abyss of freedom? 
Can we act without determined consequence, with no end in mind or means? An already existing community of women, mothers, or those who connect through care? Work in the hierarchy again, for example, as an individual in a straight gallery contract. A radical subjectivity of natality. Emma Hedich, Marina Schmidt, Josephine Berry Slater. To fulfill available time like housework. What skin is this? One felt and stretching, but no longer a camouflage. No trans historical domesticity, but a house you may know in 1977. But also strange, slipping from real thing to worst fear, do you recognize it still? A nightmare home with kitchen, nursery, and rape room. No, this is a collective portrait of homely experience, rendered from a community own our own means of, production. of experience. A story of the interior with uncanny resemblances, a limited experience, a particular class and country, an anthropology of one's own, like reading someone else's mail, someone else's diary. It's the, unrealistic to expect uncritical rapport within the the greatest revelation is you are not original and not alone. Showing what can only be theorized away from home and in relation. A means to an end. A spanner in the works. It's not relevant to criticize the content, technique, skill of other female artists. And a point of resistance. <laughs>